Hey, what's up, guys? I thought today we would look at my setup that I use to record these videos. It is pretty humble setup. I have an older MacBook Pro. This is an Intel version. I think it's from early 2020 base model MacBook Pro. I have a Wave 1 microphone that I'm using. It has indicator for mute, but otherwise not really much else. I have a clip mount for my phone. If I want to record videos featuring my face, I just use my iPhone 12 Pro. These are just some LED lights that I picked up. I have two of them, but I probably could get by with just one. I don't think you need two. I think one is probably plenty of light. Just some basic controls, the brightness and on and off. So you don't need a lot to start out if you want to start making videos. So primarily when I'm making these videos, I like to use my MacBook. This is the configuration that I'm using, just one screen. Uh, I do have a gaming PC and a monitor behind there, but this is it. For software, I've been using an app called Descript. Descript, I think primarily was used to do podcasting, but I find that it's beneficial for what I do to remove sections of a video or filler words or word gaps to make it sound better. And editing is super easy because as you record audio, it transcribes the words you're saying and that way you can go back. And if I know that I misspoke at one section, I can simply highlight that and then delete it and it will automatically remove that section of the video. This has worked out really well for me. I believe there is a free plan, but I do have the middle tier plan just because it will remove filler words, which is super helpful for me. It saves me a lot of time when I'm making these videos. And I think they limit that with the free plan. They also allow you to add AI generated voices, which is pretty cool. And they do some pretty cool audio cleaning with a studio audio effect where it will remove background noise. If you go back and replay the video that I just showed of my office, it is very bare bones, hardwood floor empty walls so there's a lot of echo and, and noise in the room so that helps me remove that type of thing for making the thumbnails for the video typically i use affinity but it's kind of interchangeable with photoshop they're both really good the benefit with affinity is you pay once and you have the software forever whereas adobe's moved to a subscription model which i don't think is great and then i use google sheets to plan out the videos so I've been trying to improve my setup and improve the videos. So if you can think of anything or you have any tips for me, let me know in the comments below. I do have a student version of Final Cut Pro. It is some good software, and I think that I might try and use that and leverage that more in future videos. There are some other cool softwares that you can use. Screen.studio is a popular one in the web development community. So this will do stuff like automatically zoom in on certain sections of your screen, but it's missing some things that Descript has. So Descript has a better editing experience where it transcribes the audio and that way you can edit based on the transcription. But this does look nice. It's just not completely feature rich yet. But I mean, then again, if you're using a Mac, you can just use QuickTime and just do the screen recording that way. So you don't need to buy software. You don't need anything expensive. You can even use DaVinci Resolve, which is free to use, and it's on Windows, Mac, and Linux. So there are options. And again, you don't need a super expensive setup. I'm using an iPhone 12 camera, which is a few years old now. I'm using a MacBook Pro from 2019 or 2020, which at this point is a few years old. It's an Intel one. It does drive me insane when I'm trying to edit videos or record videos and the fans ramp up and it sounds like I'm sitting next to a jet engine, but it gets the job done. It might take a little bit longer to export the video, but it does the job. And at the end of the day, that's all you need to get started and get going. So. Yeah, let me know down below if any of this was interesting or you have any tips for me to make better videos, you know, any software that would improve my videos or if you saw anything that I'm using that you think would help you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. This was a fun video to make. Maybe I'll make more videos like this in the future. Thanks so much. Bye.